My name is Tess Judge Ellis, and I'm interviewing Geraldine Felton. It is July 24th, 2016, and we are in the Veterans Home in Iowa City, Iowa. My name is, my name is Joe Spellis. I'm the cameraman. Uh, uh, so you're not a student? No, he's a, well, he's a student, but he's a Boy Scout. Uh-huh. And we're doing the interview for his Eagle Scout project to oh. interview veterans. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So... Dean Felton, where were you born? Hmm. I probably say in Philadelphia in because my my I was probably really born in Norfolk, Virginia. Mm -hmm. But my sister and I were taken from uh, Norfolk to Philadelphia uh, early, mm -hmm. and I only remember uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And who were your parents? Oh. What were their names? I, I only remember my mother's name, and that was Ethel Felton. Okay. And what did your mother do? My mother did housework. Uh -huh. And she did that in order for us to uh, go to the best schools in, in, uh, in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. In, okay. Yeah. Because she was getting alimony. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, did you have brothers and sisters? I had one sister who was 18 months younger. Okay. And um, had anybody in your family been in the military? No. Okay. So what were you doing before you entered into the service? I, I was um, a, uh, in, in community health. Uh, and I was a public health nurse. Mm -hmm. So you got your nursing degree where at? Uh, the first degree as a, um, a nurse was a diploma. Mm -hmm. And uh, then after I got uh, out of the Army Nurse Corps, then I went to school for my baccalaureate degree okay. in Philadelphia. Um, and you were in the Army Nurse Corps? Yeah. How did you come to get into the Army Nurse Corps? Were you... They, they were... They were mm, probably an advertisement. Uh -huh. Did they pay for your nursing school? Or did you just... Get into the Army. No, uh, the Army, Army nurse, uh, yes, they okay. paid for my nursing school. Do you remember the first thing you did when you were in the Army? Your no. first, no. did you go to basic training? Well, when you are admitted to the Army Nurse Corps, you go to uh, Fort Sam. Houston. Uh, yeah, Fort Sam mm -hmm. Houston, Houston for your inauguration into right. the service, yeah. Do you remember anything particular about that experience? No, the only thing I remember was uh, the ori the orientation and I, sitting on a curb uh, and waiting for a young person to come by who's going to show me how, how to get from one place to another. Uh -huh. That's really the only thing mm -hmm. uh, I remember. Mm -hmm. You probably took classes there about how to be in the army. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Several months. Mm -hmm. Then where did you go to after that officer basic training? I don't remember. Okay. Where my first, uh, th this was years and years and yeah. years ago. Yeah. I, don't I, know, remember. I remember looking that you were trained as a nurse anesthetist yes. in 1950. Let's see, I had it down somewhere. Um, Anyway, it was in the early 50s that you were trained as a nurse yeah. anesthetist. And that was when you could be, get that training. I don't, I don't remember that training. Mm -hmm. But you could get that training without having a degree. Mm -hmm. And you were on active duty in the Army um, starting in 1949. And you served in various locations while you were on active duty. Mm -hmm. One of which was in Korea. Yeah. Can you um, tell me much about that time in Korea? Were you assigned to a hospital? No, no, no. You, you, I was assigned to a hospital 
and the nurses were there. There would be about um, twenty to thirty women uh, in in each assignment, and we lived in a tent, and uh, we felt very protected. Um, because we were surrounded by the, the male, males in our unit. Mm -hmm. And the, the, uh, the uh, st study, the time there was um, uh, a year. Okay. You, you went there for a year and, and worked and then came back to the States. Um. Did you provide anesthesia when you were no, in? No, 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 no. I wasn't a nurse anesthetist. I was a, 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 a just a, a care nurse. Like a regular staff yeah, nurse. Yeah, I didn't become mm -hmm. an anesthetist until, uh, after after I came back to the mm -hmm. to the states. Were you um, over in Korea when there was active conflict? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, because um, what happens is that at the time there were several units, um, care units at, in um, Korea, and each unit would would um, move up uh, as as the fighting was going on and take in the wounded. Uh, and uh, in, in uh, several weeks would move back from the fighting. Mm -hmm. That was the, w the way that uh, hospital operated in Korea. Right, because it was a mobile hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any memories from that in particular, people that you met? Oh, no. Or particular s situations that were dangerous or... No, we we weren't uh, afraid. Mm -hmm. We were never in danger okay. because the 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 men in in the, in, the, in the units were all men except the, except the health unit. Uh, we knew that we would be taken care of. Mm -hmm. Do you have any and then the and it's tour of duty for 13 months. Mm -hmm. So you look forward to when the, your tour of duty would be over. Sure. Um, do you, you had a 20 year career in the military? Yeah, correct? I retired. Yes. What was the rank that you retired at? Oh, was it lieutenant captain. colonel? Lieutenant no, colonel? Um, I think captain or a I, major. Oh, uh, mm. Ma a major, because mm -hmm. that, that would be above captain. That was above captain, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And what But were, then I had to go to school for, for my baccalaureate and, and master's and doctoral degrees. But I could, I was, had the schooling paid for by the Department of the Army. Uh -huh. And you held a number of different jobs when you were in the Army. Well, see, the only job I remember was the anesthesia job. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they, they, yeah, I, I don't remember any jobs particularly. I have down that you um, opened up some nurse anesthesia programs in the Army. Yeah. And that you ran some of the programs in particular at Fitzsimmons Army Hospital in, in Colorado. Mm -hmm. but, the, I, but that's all, whatever you have, what you have, use. That's what you remember, right? Yeah, but that's what I remember. And you also did quite a bit of research when you were at Walter Reed? Well, that was after. You, you don't do research in, in, in the Army and, and, and unless you have a, a degree. Mm -hmm. uh, and so a high higher degree. Mm -hmm. So you see, this would be this. We've finished talking about uh, Korea. 
Right. We're, we're talking about after uh, going to New York University and getting mm -hmm. uh, getting credentialed. Mm -hmm. um, was it difficult? Do you remember the transition from leaving the army? No. At all? Was no. it a challenge at all to no. go into civilian life? No. Not at all, huh? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. The one thing here, uh, knowledge does for you is that you take things one, you, you've chosen what to do and you take things one at a time and whatever goes with, mm -hmm. with that. A lot of the veterans that we've talked to have said that the Army, you just have to do what you have to do, and you get it done. Yeah. Now, um, maybe they were not officers. Mm -hmm. There was people who felt that way. Right. I found it. Um, I knew what I was going to go to do, and um, uh, I knew where I wanted to go, and um, I, 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 I knew that the Army Nurse was going to pay for my education mm -hmm. and I behaved mm -hmm. <laughs> accordingly. Mm -hmm. Any um, particular friendships from when you were in the military? That that, that not of? that I remember, mm -hmm. but you, you know, you, you do make friendships, but uh, I never, since I never hung, hung on to Friendships. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember any mm -hmm. particular ones. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oops, Do you remember what happened when the I Korean War was see. over with at all? Oh, hi. How are you? No. Huh? Then, then it was time to go to school. That, that was when you went back yeah, to school. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you think being in the military affected your life? Oh, it was very, uh, it was very, um, uh, had had a very high impression on my life. The Department of the Army uh, uh, funded what? Oh, but we're just getting that feedback from some <laughs> of the conversations okay. going on. Oh, okay. But you were saying how the Army affected your... Well, well my life because it, it, it um, paid for my education. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also allowed me, me to practice Mm -hmm. So what did you do after you got out of the Army? Mm -hmm. I went to school. Went to school, and then after you were in school, what were the... Oh, well, then I, I had certain jobs in, in, uh, across the country in anesthesia that I worked in. Mm -hmm. And at some point you went into teaching and academics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't remember when. Uh-huh, when. But I, you, I had to have a, a doctorate in order to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, you ended up being dean here at the University of Iowa College mm -hmm. of Nursing. Well, yeah, I was dean someplace else. To another deanship. Uh, yeah, I had uh, probably two deanships before I got here. And I was recruited by mm -hmm. Iowa. Mm -hmm. Um. Can you think of any other uh, reasons why the military was beneficial to you or the lessons you learned from the military? Well, since all, all of my adult life was spent in the military, uh, you know, uh, obviously it, it worked for me uh -huh. uh, to be able to uh, be have you know 
get an education, which was the biggest, the biggest thing. Right. I don't remember uh, people f from the military. Uh huh. Do you have any lesson, life lessons that you've learned from being in the military? No, no. Uh, uh, all, all of my activities probably stem from what I learned in the military, but I never knew anything except the, the military, mm -hmm. you see. Can you think of any specific activities that you think point you to your military background? No. Uh, I, uh, because I never saw being in the military any, uh, uh, any more than being a nurse. Uh -huh. This is where I decided to practice my nursing in the military. Mm -hmm. And I, I think because I, uh, I knew that the military uh, had, had uh, rules about what you, what, what, how you behaved mm -hmm. and what you do, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the structure was the, comfortable. The structure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is what I liked. Mm -hmm. And some people like that, some people we've talked to like the fact that you could be treated as an equal. You were judged by what you could do, not whether or not you were a man or a woman. Oh yeah, well, I, maybe, I, 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 I can't see the word equal, how that fits in, uh -huh. but you word because I, I I wouldn't use that but you were judged by what you could do uh, oh and the the um, uh, promotion but but you see promotion depended on your being good at whatever it was mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. you were going to do mm -hmm. I, I, I just never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. the, 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 I, 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 I like the order mm -hmm. um, that uh, I found in the military. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, because when so, and that probably uh, has. Um, been uh, a, ma a major part of what uh, of, of, of how I have grown and developed and how I've worked mm -hmm. um, uh, demanding uh, order yeah right structure a, a structure yeah mm -hmm. yeah. I have down that you served in Germany. Do you remember that at all? No, I, uh, I, I don't. I don't remember mm -hmm. the, Germany. It would have been for a short period of time. I think it was a short period mm -hmm. of time that you were there, mm -hmm. and then also that you had been in Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in Hawaii too. Yeah. That you did some advise, advising mm -hmm. there yeah, in Hawaii. Yeah, I was. Um, yeah. Do you remember much about that job in particular? No, I remember I, I lived on the fourteenth floor, <laughs> 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 and I, 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 I think I was um, head of the nursing, mm -hmm. nursing, um, anesthesia. I think so in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I met. One of the, he wasn't a physician, it was a PhD uh, male. Uh, we, we became very, very good friends for the rest of his life, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about that relationship at all, as you think about yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, sometimes uh, there was um, uh, just, uh, Disagreement between anest 
anesthesiologist and the nurse anesthetist. Mm -hmm. And um, he, this person, uh, I guess the way I met him was um, um, because he was head, he was a physiologist and he was head of, the, of his department and he, he was helpful. Mm -hmm. to, he was, he was, I, I think, he, he was helpful to me. Mm -hmm. That brings a smile to your face. Yeah, yeah, he was a marvelous English, English, a uh, person of Engl English, England. Up. Yeah, British. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. uh, and he was very, he was influenced, he was influential in protecting me. Mm -hmm. In the academic mm -hmm. system, so, yeah, so he sounds like he was challenging, yeah, but respected you, yes, mm -hmm. and 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 used his uh, his position to help me to sort my way through, because you were directing the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that sounds like it was an important friendship when oh, you were doing it was that. Oh, it was really the, probably the most important friendship uh, in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you put your finger on his name at this point? Uh, I can go and get... Uh, uh, put it on pause. Mm -hmm. So this man was Terrence Rogers? Yes. And that was this man who... He, he was in a head of, he was head, head of physiology. And, and um, in anesthesia, you, you, you better be good with the physiologists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It says he had been recruited to the University of Hawaii in 1963. Mm -hmm. And... Um, as a professor of physiology, mm -hmm. and he was crucial to the establishment of the Pacific Biomedical Research Center. Um, so, so he was. You have his copy of his obituary here. Yeah. And so you guys remained lifelong friends. Lifelong friends. Uh huh. Nice. So he was an ally. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good, I never thought about it. Mm -hmm. it. That word I never used, but that's the truth. So it was challenging to start up the nurse anesthetist program in Hawaii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was one of your main jobs in mm -hmm. Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything else about him or any? Mm. No. You, you you've grasped you've grasped captured the, some of that yeah, yeah for you. Uh -huh. um, so you were also at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research in yeah. the Division of Nursing mm -hmm. as a, a research nurse and deputy director. Yeah, was this after you left the, the military or uh, after I left the military? Uh, and uh, see a, a, a big thing. I've always thought about is being grateful to the military for uh, the, su the support it, it all, always gave me and the assignments I had that that prepared me for the life on the outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you took this job as the director and deputy director right after you separated left, left, from left the military. The military yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in, in, in a way, the Army prepared you for doing this job. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. So, you had a career in the military, and then you had a career after the military. Yeah, you got it. Yes. And do you have any sort of highlights from your career after the military that, were, that you bring to mind quickly? The, the business of uh, uh, having a, a reputation uh, um, uh, among people in anesthesia uh, in this country, country 
was directly related to um, my previous life mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. I, I got out of the military. Mm -hmm. If you, um, there might be people in the future looking at this videotape. Mm -hmm. It's um, going to be archived at the Library of Congress. Mm -hmm. And so other people might be watching it. Is there a message that you would like to leave to people either about the military or about life in general? Uh, work hard. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and take advantage of opportunities uh, as they come. Mm -hmm. I, I, I consider myself very fortunate. Uh, I had come from uh, a, a family that was poor uh, to to have a, a, a national, international reputation for what I did. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the uh, the military con contributed to mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So you're fortunate. I, I was fortunate, mm -hmm. but you also have to take advantage of opportunities mm -hmm. that come. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, be well prepared mm -hmm. to take advantage of those. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the Army prepared you for and that. And the Army prepared me for that. Mm -hmm. Seems like you're proud to be a veteran. Mm. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Better be. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 uh -huh. uh, the, you know, the, uh, the uh, veteran, uh, the veteran's uh, uh, status has allowed me to, a lot of, options and um, um, money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the military in general now? Oh, fine. You know, I, I feel I never had any feelings against the military mm -hmm. because I only knew personally what the advantages were. Mm -hmm. Right. Except one time when I was at Walter Reed, I was uh, assigned to the office of the officials, and uh, I I don't know I don't remember what what I did there, but uh, sometimes in in we were we were. Um, in a large, in a large uh, office, mm -hmm. and somebody went past my desk and saw a letter uh, offering me a position, uh, you know, as a as a as a non-military person, and told the head of the office, and they were very disappointed in me. Because uh, I hadn't told them that I was going to leave Walter Reed. Mm -hmm. That was disappointing to yeah, you. Yeah, but, but it was disappointing mm -hmm. about the tattling. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, as I think back, I don't know if you have any other memories of your time in Korea in particular. We were 12 women in a tent, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 10 of them were nurses and the other two were, oh, excuse me, please. Uh -huh. Can get that yeah, would you please, I, I, if it's uh, Maybe lunch, lunch. yeah, just, just put it in the there, There's, I mean, there's nothing. I get one tray a day. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I eat cereal at breakfast time. At lunch time, uh, I eat some Do of the going? stuff. That's yeah. And the, the, uh, and for supper, I have the rest of it. Right. So there's nothing going to happen. Okay. All I want them to do is come and get the empty tray. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the best thing I've seen since I, I've been here has to do with this plastic 
containers. Uh -huh. You see, I can take the information from the tray, put them in the containers, and let them take the tray away. And you still keep the containers, And, and yeah. keep, keep, uh, keep the containers, nice. so there's, there's nothing. Okay, no problem. There yeah. was, um, we were talking about Korea. Yeah. And there were ten women in the tent. Ten women. Uh, Nurses. Yeah, I think ten. Uh, no, there must have been one, like dietitian or mm -hmm. or one non-nursed person. Do you remember much about working with the physicians or other no. people? No. <laughs> no, no. Mm -hmm. it, it was just working right. with them. Right. And. Uh, in anesthesia, you have to, you know, I think work harder to not make mistakes, mm -hmm. not, not kill anybody, right. <laughs> or not uh, make it difficult for the surgeon to do whatever mm -hmm. he or she is doing. Mm -hmm. No. Did you feel respected as a nurse anesthetist by the surgeons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, I, I don't remember anybody yelling at me or reporting me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think in the Army, generally, I didn't have any trouble with respect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The physicians were very good. Uh, and I, I appreciated that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. It was a collegial environment. It was a collegial envi not, not, environment, mm -hmm. not any playing around mm -hmm. or the, yelling. Mm -hmm. They got down to business. It, it, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, it was all business. Do you remember any particular injuries or difficulties with patients in particular no. or challenges that way? Not no. that you remember. Yeah, okay. no. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, being a nurse anesthetist mm -hmm. and being able to do my work as I knew it and having the support of the, of the physicians and the nurses mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you remember any fun activities when you were over in Korea? Like any fun social activities or diversions? Well, uh, in Korea, there was a, when when you moved from where the mobile stuff is mm -hmm. that we moved, when you moved from where you were to another place, usually it's one is closer the, to the to, front. To the mm -hmm. front, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the women had a tent, and and so there were ten nurses and two. Um, what, what's the other? Two non-nurses, but they were officers mm -hmm. uh, in the tent, and I remember the tents. I bet it sounds like you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but uh, and and they put the women's tent up. See, and and a mobile army means that you you set up your 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 organization and do your work, and then when it's time to go, you pull down, you pull the old tent right. away. Yeah. So uh, that's all I remember. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it, and there was an officer's tent uh, um, near where you were, mm -hmm. and any fun things were done in the tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just remember. Do you remember the work of having to break down the tents and move out and storm in trucks or? No, I I, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an you know it wasn't. Impossible, and of course, we didn't have to do any uh, lots of that physical, part. Yeah. physical mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. uh, lots of it, mm -hmm. and uh, they were very, they were very protective of females. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in in Korea, mm -hmm. and I always appreciated that because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know they'd have to set up uh, d uh, different toilets. Right, you see, mm -hmm. and 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 then the, and showers, and mm -hmm. showers, and different tents for mm -hmm. the women. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So, so you felt special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And cared for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was fascinating the way they, the, the way they did it. Yeah, it was not without argument or anything. They yeah, just did it. Was that, part of their job. They just did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, again, any other thoughts about the military or wartime or anything that affected your life? And I, I guess, and, and there nobody at, talks to me without asking that question. Uh-huh. Being in the military was a part of my life. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. I had uh, work to do, and I did it, and and I was treated uh, appropriately. Nobody. Uh, you know, the, like you didn't have surgeons yelling, mm-hmm. or or people, uh, or or somebody yelling about the patient not being mm-hmm. uh, asleep enough. You know, that sounds like it was professional from start was to from, stop. From 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 the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What that was very refreshing. It sounds like mm-hmm. it, it was. Uh, it, thankful, you know, it wasn't that it hadn't happened before, but there, you know, there were rules that mm-hmm. everybody paid, everybody uh, uh, adhered to, mm-hmm. and you did your job as you understood the job. Mm-hmm. So as we close up here, any um, other words of wisdom or um, thank you um, for future generations at all? Oh, I, I think the, the the women in in military services is a, certainly a good idea. Uh, I, I would uh, uh, recommend anyone who, who who fits to consider going in the military. You learn a lot, uh, and you. Your your work is so um, uh, obvious, and, uh, and you 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 um, know the rules of mm-hmm. rules and regulations, and you behave mm-hmm. in a, in a certain way. Mm-hmm. And I like that kind of the structure structure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can see the impact, it sounds and, uh, like. And, and I think uh, I would advise anybody who, to go into the Army Nurse Corps. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Is there anything you feel like we discussed or anything you want to add to the interview at all? No, because my life has been so varied over the years. I don't remember. I, I, I'm great, grateful for the fact that I have income from the federal government that allows me to do all the things that I have done. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, and uh, it, it, it allowed a kind of freedom to become what I wanted to become. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. a great launching pad yeah, to a wonderful a, career. Yeah, yeah, a great, and, and um, nobody says said that to, to me. Uh, in the beginning, maybe it wouldn't have made any sense. In the beginning, <laughs> you had to you had to experience it, and then take advantage of all the options, mm-hmm. the opportunities there were. Mm-hmm. So I think we've covered quite a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I, I would advise any nurse person. Uh, to consider the the military. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I had a lot, a lot of freedom, but I also had experiences that other people, the being loaned to the University of Hawaii, for mm-hmm. instance, uh, and uh, the, the travel that you have, mm-hmm. and you uh, you know invita- invitations you you, you could. You don't have to get permission to accept the invitation, mm-hmm. but you you need to know how that that's going to influence your military work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so, so uh, oh, I, I was thinking, I was saying the only 
um, bad thing that happened was when I was uh, getting ready to retire. And I had uh, some people uh, had asked me some places across had asked me if I would be interested in them, and the, a couple of uh, re, um, uh, request letters were on my desk when I was at Walter Reed, and. Uh, the invitation was laying out there. The head of our group came by, you know, and, had, and, and saw this invitation, and he was, I, I don't know, unreasonably angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that, and I was leaving, so there was no reason for us mm -hmm. to try to explain anything. Mm -hmm. the, the letter was there. Mm -hmm. But he resented the fact that. I was had been looking for positions be, before my last day mm -hmm. in the Army Nurse Corps. Mm -hmm. That's too bad that was one of your last memories, you know, <laughs> that's not... <laughs> yeah, 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 but that's the way, because I had never had an experience like that. I, I had never had anyone that I knew who became angry mm -hmm. w about something I had done, mm -hmm. you know, in 20 years. That's mm -hmm. a, that's a big deal, yeah. That's a, yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time for this well, interview. Well, I hope it makes sense mm -hmm. to to. Well, I think you you know, don't turn it off yet. The overwhelming sense that I get is that um, you were poor, and you didn't know how you were going to get through all the goals you wanted to do, and the army opened a big door for you. Well, I went to good schools. Uh huh. I went to mm -hmm. to. to uh, and, and 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 then and then and I also had a diploma before you went on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah. Like but uh, the, the point is that the society made it possible mm -hmm. for me to reach to have a to have a good uh, to have a good. Uh, livelihood mm -hmm. uh, and be successful. You were very successful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's been quite a privilege to talk with you, so I appreciate it very much. Well, I'm sorry that uh, I hope it, it's going to be understandable. I think so. Yeah. There we go.